Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Back to Front mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. German Reich Lover. And this is sort of picking off where we left off last time. Um, we're looking nice and thick. We got quite a few comms to go through, and I did make Poland a little bigger so that we could eventually integrate them. And we'll talk about all of these legions as well. Ooh, and we're going to need to destroy Potisans. They're overwhelming right now. Ooh, raid armories. Oh, that's not good. Send collaborators on suppression. Ooh, send a certain group on suppression, too. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's try that one. I'll destroy the Partisans as well. Which would be very, 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 very important to get rid of. 100% war support, of course. We're still at war with Japan. We support China. I don't know about that. At this point in the campaign, uh, begin heavy water production. Hmm. We can do that too. Yo, no, we might as well just take out the entire world. Let's get the entire world into the Axis. God, that's not a big enough German Africa, so. And for this one, we need to fully control all owned states. Fully controlled by us, so. Well, whatever. Um, of course, we have all these Oraxis Commissariats, of course, and we want to integrate the general government. We've got to wait a little bit, and oh, yeah, we can transfer a lot of stuff like Northern Ireland to Ireland. Well, they're not with us. I don't want them at this point. Ooh. Recruitment. Eh, close out of that one. Foreign influence. Don't really care for now. Even though it's kind of important to do, but it doesn't help lower their autonomy, so. Not really interested. I'm not shooting that one for not to. Ooh, actually, what happened here? Enemy ace pilot shot down. Well, that's not bad. But like I said, we're at war with Japan, and our goal is trying to. Finish those guys off, which sounds weird out of context. But we're doing Operation Vessel Ubum. Oh, better oil. There is last time I might have. Nor is a critical strategic point. It will be an obvious point of attack for any enemy waiting to, or wanting to disrupt our steel trade with Sweden. We cannot risk our enemy setting up bases in this region. To obtain a good staging area for the invasion of Norway, we need to move on to Denmark first. Operation Tinebaum. Switzerland possesses the most disgusting, miserable people and political system. We now find the time to see those mortal enemies of the new Germany. Axis number one, it's only 42, and most of our enemies are dead. Not bad. So you guys are headed where? You're heading to the east. You guys are also heading to the east. You guys are going back here to take out those gosh darn evil, evil, evil dames. Just straight evil, my friends. They're guaranteed by Canada, which is kind of peculiar. They're in the Allies, which means we would be at the war with the Allies if we go to war with them. Hmm. Or Norway. No, Norway's good. Alright, well, we can invade Norway first. And that's totally okay with me. Um, let's send you first. Four divisions right there. Oh, I don't know how, this is, how well this will go. Just completely ignore Norway for now, maybe. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, send two, because you can. Um, I don't want to take out Oslo yet. Here, add you two. Shippies. We have 31 now. It's not as bad. And we will stack them up. Get another group here. Thank you. And do it right there instead. And get some fighters. And before I started re-recording this stuff, I also made sure that we had uh, an, this more orderly and organized. I'll put it like that. Hey, they're coming in. God dang, supply's going to be just god-awful around here. This is not. Operation Tidebomb. The collapse of that there Soviet Union. We can continue our conquest of Europe. Switzerland possessed the most disgusting and miserable people on the political system. And the Swiss were the mortal enemies of the New Germany. Should we finally strike them and proclaim the unity of all Germanic peoples? Yeah, two cities. Oh, I don't know how to get that, but whatever. Following the stunning victory of German forces, the time has come to destroy the last vestiges of Bolshevist rule in Europe, even now. The names of Stalin and Lenin disgraced two major cities in the New German Lebensraum, mocking the soldiers who gave their lives to take them. The Association of Veterans of the Valkyrie have presented the government with a suggestion to rectify this horrible state of affairs. Yes. Hindenburg and Ludendorff. I like it. Worried. And they're loyal. Uh, gotta wait for that a little bit more. Just totally fine. Close out of these for now. We can deal with all the resistance and such. Uh, close that one for now, too. Local actions. War measures. They're still overpowering, which is pretty bad. Um, we might have to do another one, too. I'll do it anyways. What is this? Argentine League against a whole bunch of people, especially Brazil. They will be uh, in our way just so we can take them out. And by in, in our way, we'll take out, help take out Brazil. So I'm not even looking at this stuff. I'm just clicking so we don't have to see it. That's fine. They join them. That's totally, totally, totally fine. I know we're not ready, ready yet, yet here, but you know what? Give us time to destroy their stuff. Oh, and time. Do we really want to integrate them, though? I don't know. 
Do we stay put? Do we hang some? They're, they're core states. Not bad. Transfer a greater finished area to Finland. Hey, that's a thick Finland. I mean, they're technically not on a lot, so we might still take them out. We'll see. We have an epilogue to this one, too. Uh, any of the stuff over here? Don't really care. Foreign influence. Uh, Rex Commissar, it's going to be under here. Oslin. Oh, God, yes. Uh, we did this last time. We could release them, but they're, if they're already a core. I don't see the point of releasing them. And honestly, it's too early for them to become cored. It's 1942 for the love of God. Oh, hello. See Burma? It's fine for now. It's fine, it's fine. We'll be fine. Not too worried about that. Still importing more. But it's okay. We steal chromium. No, we're good on this stuff. Guys, guys. Get on, please. I mean, yeah, I can expect them to show up and do that. Uh, we'll see. Nice. Keep building us up. Keep building us up. Cool. Encryption. Spy stuff. Yes. And we will do that here. We'll do that here. We will eventually need to come here too and try to do all this stuff, but we'll see. I think he's actually helped out here. And for Japan. The divisions aren't bad. Tokyo, maybe? Oh, there goes Philippines, because that is where Japanese just took them out. Whatever. Oh, how's this going? They're strong? Ah, do all of it. Oh, we're talking about these legions as well. Uh, we don't have a lot of national spirits. Lengthening in the war in the east. Well, it's already over. Partisans suck, sucks quite a bit. So. Mm, don't quite need you, but thank you for offering your services. How about Ukrainian Legion? Why not? Ukrainian Legion is a volunteer militia for uh, military formation that consisted of Ukrainian emigrants and nationals who served in the Wehrmacht. Basically, they took part in anti partisan wars against NLA. Glory to Ukraine. Hello, Ukrainian Legion. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's so bad. Oh, I don't even want to use you. I'm going to dump you off the side of the boat here. There you go. That's really bad. Two combo with is not good. Ooh, lost combo. That sucks. Whatever. 42 military place is always good, but logistics is always good as well. Keep building yourselves up. I'm not too concerned about that too much. There you go. Throw it when you can. See what we can do. And what do we want to deploy? Infantry? Cool. There was one comment saying I should add flame tanks. Oh, we could try it. I didn't realize that this actually gave you so many good benefits. Like, people kept telling me to do it, but I'm like, I wasn't really sure. Plus 25% more forward attack and movement speed. Or just movement. More attack in general on pretty much everything. So, we're going to try it. This might be a really bad idea, but we'll try it. We will try it. We should get Marines. Should we want to invade America? There you go. Nice. Good job, guys. Where are you at? Here. Supply-wise, is a really bad idea, but that's okay. There you go. Since we're here anyways, give us some time, get some more air bases, and then you might want to just push ahead. Supply's going to be really bad. Can you actually do anything here? Not quite. They have a lot of planes themselves. Which, I mean, makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Man of training, nice. Cool. More divisions, please. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got more light cruisers. Very good, because we're making quite a few now. How are we doing over here in the east? We're doing okay. Are we actually... Oh, we're war with these guys again. What the heck? Why are we going to war with the Mongolian People's Republic? When that happened? I thought we were at peace. There you go. Yeah, you guys keep going on. Pushing Tannenbaum, naval effort. The expansion of the Navy should be our first priority. It's not all available resources to the new dockyards and research the middle light surface vehicles and vessels. Nice. 
Yeah, also those ours. Beautiful. Serbia SS5 Villigan Corps. The Serbian SS Volunteer Corps was a formation of SS troops recruited from the Serbian Volunteers. The Corps consisted primarily of monarchists, radical military, and activists of the Yugoslav People Movement's Zbor. During the war, he proved himself to be excellent in the fight against partisans of Bros Tito and the Chetniks of Draza Mihailovic, with faith in God for the King and Fatherland. Cool. Ah. What do we have here? Backhand blow? Sure. Oh, it's really partisans. That'd be nice. Uh, also shoots, shoots Koa Serbian. Russian Guard Corps, a corps formed from Russian emigres and citizens of the USSR that acted on the side of Nazi Germany during the World War II. He particularly fought against the NLA and the Chetniks in Yugoslavia, and at the end of the war, he fought with advancing units of the Soviet Army. God is with us. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so you, that's really cool. I don't mind using you guys. I just wish I could edit your divisions, and then you guys are 16. Oh, that's not bad, too. Ukrainian one is just so bad. It's bad. It's not good. It's not even worth using. Norway, we can close that one out then for foreign influence. We can have your water production here, yeah. It's fine. Comments included. Look at what we have here. The voice of the German people. Someone else says, make sure to throw a bunch of convoys at your pups to make sure they can't break free. Might be worth maxing out their infrastructure too. That's also very true as well. Yeah, that'd be smart. Be very smart. Also, make sure you get some more uh, supply. This is a cheap way to do it. Just put, put it on the coast. They might get some more spy, maybe. Let's see. We shall see. Oh, hello. What? Oh. Okay. No, don't do it too, because you can. Bitcoin quizzing in Norway. In accordance to our encouragement, Bitcoin uh, quizzing has announced a formal coup against the Norwegian government and established an opposition regime that is pledged to support us. But there's also those within the government who have expressed doubts over quizzing's capabilities later. And it's committed to the German cause. As such, there's no small movement within the administration now looking to extend German influence over the quizzing regime in order to bring it closer to the Reich. Sensor Boven established Reich's commissariat and sure it bends over to us. Hmm. Sensor Boven support quizzing regime and slowly expand influence in Norway. Terboven will be to dispatch Norway and with orders to act as an executive advisor to the quizzing regime. Quizzing was still head of the government, but Terboven and our German advisor also hold significant influence and ensure that Norway remains properly aligned with the German war effort. Oh, whoops. My bad. This is going to be so bad here. It's so bad already. H how do we not have air superiority here? Because our plans are probably getting bombed nothing here, are we? No? Hmm. Odd. Announces coup in Oslo, a new state for Norway. Cool. These guys are not that difficult to kill. What is, why are these? Why are you struggling so much? I'm gonna get these guys our infantry and whatnot, but still, naval efforts. Expand docker facilities. To truly build a navy worthy of a note, we must expand, really expand our shipbuilding capabilities. This is very true. We're gonna be losing a lot of guys here if we keep doing it like this. Yeah. Construction four, not bad, not bad. Command power, why not? You too. This crisis is so bad. You are so disappointing, tanks. How can you guys not win here? I don't understand with air spirit. Why do I have air superiority? Do we not have anti air on here? We do have anti air. You guys are taking up way too much of this. Holy crap. Well, I'm sending you guys back home. You're going to go fight someone else. There you go. I finally land where just sucks. Hmm. But I'm not sure how else to do it just except by brute forcing it. 
God, we don't have never enough command power. There's nothing we can do about this. Like, there's no point having the tanks here, so I'll actually send half you guys back. Alright, do that too. Is there anything for planes we can do? It's a little ahead of time. 42, good 40. We need better infantry equipment as well. Hmm. This is really bad. And sure, actually, he's green. Ah, uh, Bumble has been wounded. Force it. Oh, here, why are you 23 at it? Hmm. This is a bit odd, but okay. Blitz? Sure, why not? You die, you die. I legit do not care. My god. Our air spirit is not doing anything, so... Are these guys not building anything? What do you mean no supply connection for capital? Hundred and three. No. I don't understand. I really don't understand this. For some reason I do not understand. Like we should have more than enough supply. Oh, this too. Where are you at? Uh let's see. Oh my god, come on. Go in. Seriously, why do we have no supply here? Yeah, this makes no sense. Ah, I see why. Now it makes sense. Because they cut this part off. Oh, it's so stupid. That's so stupid. I don't like that at all. Man. Y'all have political power, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo this just because this is incredibly stupid and it's frustrating me to no end. But let's go through some more comments. So just make sure to allow, like I said, throw a bunch of comments to your puppets. Uh, you need local spies for the Soviet Union. The spies mechanic got buffed after a no step back. Um, someone says, I'm close to having 20,000 subscribers. Another person says, get the Kaiser Wilhelm Society. It's a flat 10% research speed boost. You might want to go and use a straight transfer tool bit to clean up the borders. Um, to buy a design company to anything, you need to make a single modification to the template and save it. Someone says, reorganize your own internal borders of the territories. Maybe kick out Italy and conquer them as well. And just make sure your time on your puppets is not too high. Someone says, make flame tanks and use them as support for infantry. Someone says, why don't you upgrade your motorized and tanks? Uh, I, don't, I kind of forget, set and forget. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go back in the past and actually make sure this doesn't go too poorly for us. And you can't upgrade motorized, which sucks. But yeah, we can get more technology for them. Uh, someone else says, oh boy, the man in the high castle, World War Three. So, yep. And yeah, cool. But yeah, I'm going to go back in the past and redo this because this is... I hate fighting land wars in Asia. Smolensk Declaration. In 1942, Andrei Vlasov, on behalf of the Russian Committee, begins to prepare an appeal address to the soldiers of the Red Army. The purpose of the declaration is to appeal to the German command with the proposal to organize a Russian Liberation Army as a military formation, create a liberate rush from communism. Due to the failures of the Red Army at the first stage of the war, about 3 million Soviet soldiers were taken prisoner by the Nazis. For those who want to fight against Soviet power, it's necessary to give some kind of political justification for their actions so that they do not turn out to be mercenaries of Germany. Hitler is very wary of Vlasov's uh, intentions, but the propaganda department issued Russian volunteers with the stripes of the Russian Liberation Army is already, already trying to use Vlasov's name to encourage the desertion. First steps towards the Red Army, or third threat. Hand on we don't need collaborators. I mean, at this point, we really don't. I've done two other focuses. We're doing a tactical air effort. Victory will be achieved by annihilating the enemy's ground forces. We must focus on supporting our own armies with our tactical strikes against close and deep targets. Ost wall. Despite our gains in the east, we must ensure that if the tide turns, we can hold off the enemy advance. We should build a line of fortifications, the pants of Voltanstellung, along the Nipa River from the Black Sea to the Baltic. And we've done this one too. This is one more we did as well, but air innovations too. The tasks of the Reich's air ministry are of paramount importance. The Luftwaffe must be the most advanced air force in the world. And at this point, you can tell we've done quite a bit better now. I've actually made sure we got more planes. We don't have oversupply stuff. Um, yeah, Korea's ours for now, too, so. We're also trying to bomb the living crap out of it, uh, around here, too. Maybe not living crap out of it, but a lot of this stuff. And we want to go to war with Tenutuva, as well as Portugal, so we'll see what happens. There you go. 
I'll go and call in our allies too. Stimmgewehr, which obviously, in all honesty, is not super impressive, but whatever. Are they? Are you seriously not going to come in? The war. Nice. Guys, Franco, Franco, you have one. You have two options: either join us or we will invade you ourselves. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me, Franco? Bro. Also, we, get, we did get one of our spies uh, captured, but whatever. Um, over here, anything we really care about too much? Back in map, backstabber, subversive ideologies, war industrialist. Spy construction, construction speed, not bad. And there goes uh, those guys. Very nice. Um, let's see. Turn over all these guys too. They'll probably take over all of Africa. We don't do anything about it. Which would be a big problem. So let's come over here as well. Send them to Africa. Because nothing says fun like going to Africa. As we're also building some subs up too. Should be nice. Ooh. Not bad. Head right down here too. Do the best you can. Thank you. We'll take out Denmark eventually too. I don't want to go to war with America first. I want to make sure we are very solid first wherever we end up. So. Yeah, no. Yeah. Once you really get. Oh. That's a lot of divisions over there. Enough divisions around here and whatnot. Like, this is. It's going all right. I mean, we're still trying to bomb loading crap out of them in the, in the water, which obviously we need more, but still. Go right there. Bomb, 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 bomb. Take these guys out as well. Uh, we already annexed Mongolia, which was a big problem as well when they cut off our supply, but you know, whatever. Um, you guys, I mean, we might as to take out China at this point too. There we go. Keep bombing some convoys, son. That'd be real good. Radar stations, air bases. Uh, okay. Wait, finish. Not for this, eh? Sure, guys. Ooh, convoys. I did think a, a carrier or two by doing this, too. Convoys. Convoy. Oh. Nice. Thank you, sirs. Honestly, we might want to use this to our advantage now by going to war with other people. Uh, like Iraq. Why are we going to go to war with them? Because we can. I know historically this is not very historical, but whatever. Or instead, we could use you guys instead. Yeah, let's use you guys to invade them. I'll have you guys invade. Which I don't understand why we still have infantry here. But, you know what? I'm not going to ask questions sometimes. Hmm... Right here, maybe. Four divisions go right there. Go one, two, four, and then we'll have uh, six, eight, and then ten. There you go. Yeah. We did integrate the uh, Norwegian fleet, which is why our fleet is so big, too. Well, 54 ships, but still. Still trying to get down there. And then we'll come over here and help these guys out too. Argentina League's not looking too bad. Group anti air, anti 43. What do we else do we have around here? Nuclear stuff, yeah. Of course, we also have a cup of coffee keeping us nice and warm as well, too, so. That's good. That's nice. After the captured, very nice. That go air effort. Second Vienna Award, Air Innovations 2, Long Range Escorts, two second Vienna Award. Transylvania has a Hungarian majority, should ride to belong to her friends in Hungary. However, it's hard to say how the Romanian regime will act and people react to his demands. Ah, look at that. Destroyers, good. Destroyers, good. Early destroyers, good. Early destroyers, or just destroyers, sunk, good. I don't supplies really bad around here, too. Actually, probably should do that too. Not bad. Let's see, uh, yellow C. We can do that less, probably. Nice. 
Destroyers, convoys and such. We don't want to take out China probably too. Mozilla could be ours as well. But we really wanted it to. This is already down there, which is very nice as well. We want the Americans here as well, but we've got quite a few capital ships. It's very good. Ooh. Ah, no wonder it's just a lot of this stuff here. Three more destroyers, two destroyers, early destroyer hull. Fighting America's going to be a pain in the butt. We're going to need a lot of uh, naval bombers and whatnot. Subs, of course. Stuck down there. French state looking okay. They haven't put anything down here in a while. Uh, military staff doesn't really matter too much at this point. Naval AA. Uh, airborne student or student airborne assault logistics gas. Yeah, it's not bad. Naval department, sir, senors. Pretty good. We're good to go. Uh, let's not forget about this too. More naval invasions, please. Thank you. Hope you do well. We should be able to do well. Um, additionally, we should do get some more legions. Uh, let's do those first because we can. Collaborative groups, yes. Ansatz grouping, yes. Uh, what do we have here? We've got a lot. Azerbaijani legion. Azerbaijani legion, a compound uh, consisting of former Soviet Azerbaijani prisoners of war. One of the units of the Wehrmacht. Some of the Azerbaijani prisoners of war defected to the enemy, knowing about Stalin's order number 278 of August 16, 1941. On the destruction of commissars and commanders who deserted from the battlefield or tore off insignia before they were being captured. While this saw in the creation of the legion the possibility of restoring the independence of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Alright, very nice. And listen, uh, Division Lawson. The Russell Division's military formation that operated as part of the Wehrmacht during the Second World War under the leadership of Abba Officer B.A. Smilski. Glory to Russia. 10 combat with and 12 combat with. Jesus Christ. Infantry Croatia. The 369th Croatian Infantry Division is a military unit recruited from the Hmong Croatian Volunteers, also known as the Devil's Division. Basically, fought on the Yugoslav front against the NLA partisans. On 11th of May 1945, the remnants of the division surrendered to the British troops on the border of Austria. Hey, a cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a battleship. Good God, six combat is so bad. I hate it. Carl. The first Russian uh, National SS Brigade, Drizina was an SS unit consisting of volunteers from the Soviet prisoner of war camps. The task of the unit included security service in the occupied territory and the fight against partisans of necessary military operations at the front. In August of 43, in Belarus, the brigade went over to the side of the Soviet partisans to continue the war against Nazi Germany. We walk in white fields. All right. Oh, are you guys done here? Cool. Um, Italy, we might have to deal with this wall later on. I do want to help these guys out. Can you guys actually make it over here without dying? Well, hmm. Wow. Two, help them out maybe over there if you don't die in the water first. That's gonna be an award. Followed up with Alliance of Italy. Italians must be maybe untrustworthy, as they proved in the Great War, but Mussolini in this fast movement has shown that there is hope for Italy yet. Yeah, surely Germany can only stand a game by allying with Italy, does it not? Yeah, we'll see. Nope. Mr. Wheelchair Man, sorry, but no. Three, oh my gosh, there. Oh, infantry is only one combo with. That's interesting. Eh, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, volunteer regiment of the SS Varyag, a uh, unit of SS troops from anti-Soviet emigrants from Russia and prisoner of war of the Red Army and the service of the armed forces of Nazi Germany. The regiment was engaged in the anti-partisan raid in Yugoslavia after the surrender of Germany up to half of the personnel was issued to the Soviet Union. Well, a few skipped the common fate. Very cool. I love the SS uh, divisions, except when they're only one combat with Jesus Christ. You guys are going to die like crazy. Whatever. We'll deal with it. Wow. Hey, look at that. Nice. Oh, a battleship, a carrier, and two heavy cruisers. Jesus. All in exchange for two naval bombers. Nice. Nice. Four more ships destroyed. Very nice. Nice. 
We gonna need a sea wolf. So let's go. Battle cruiser sunk. Very good. Oh, Brazil's gone. Okay. Well, guys are off anyways. Agriculture four. We want to go to war with um. My bad. Iraq. Well then. We'll see. Make Argentina the master of South America. Camelot Cavalry Corps. <clears throat> uh, Cavalry ca Camelot Cavalry Corps is an armed formation that took part in World War II on the side of Nazi Germany. It was created out of the occupation of the territory of the Kalmyk ASSR by the German troops in the summer of 42. It is the same status as other national armed forces of the Wehrmacht, formed from representatives of the other people of the USSR. We walked in the fields. Horse boys. Yeah, it's better than some things. It could be worse. Good luck, y'all. Oh, we actually landed. Actually, we don't need luck. We have everyone here. Go! Even the Americans can't naively invade correctly. Take the motorized and just drive. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, convoy sunk. sunk. That sucks. Over here. Killing them, huh? Oh, some convoys. That's fine. Just some convoys. Don't worry about it. Nice. Go, my tank boys. Kill them off. Very nice. All the way down and around. Just do not get encircled, you bunch of ding dong renos. Head on up here, too, just in case. Oh, whoa, we're in southern China. Hey, a lot of destroyers sunk. Nice. Very good. Very good. Well, I guess that's over for now, but that's all right. We can see you later. Ah, the Kos uh, Kosagen Lager. Out of the capture of Voronezh, German troops entered the former territory of the Don Cossacks, which led to a revival of anti-Soviet sentiments in the villages of the Upper Don. The Don Cossacks, who survived their decosacization and collectivization, for the most part welcomed the German troops as liberators from the Bolshevik yoke. <clears throat> and in October 42, and Novo Chekhovsk, Occupied German troops, with the permission of the German authorities, a Cossack gathering was held at which the headquarters of the armies elected Donsky. Uh, the organization of Cossack formations as part of the Wehrmacht begins both in the occupied territories and the immigrant environment. <clears throat> the creation of the Cossack units was headed by the former colonel of the Tsar's army, Sergei Vasilievich Pavlov, who was in the Soviet towns, worked as an engineer in one of the factories in Novocherkask. Pavlov's influence was supported by Pyotr Nikolaevich Krasnov. Welcome new allies. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Awesome. Do it again. It's fine. Whatever. We'll be fine. Ooh, 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 that's not bad. Uh, that's lost eight Italians. Who cares? Looks like a Japanese thingy. By thingy, you mean cowboy. I mean, carrier. Yeah, that's what I meant. Nice. ROA is a self armed self defense force created by Bronislav Kaminsky on the territory of the Lokot self government. To fight partisans on the territory of Lokot in Belarus, these detachments will help us protect the rear from partisan attacks and concentrate more forces on the eastern front. Oh, my bad. Oh, we actually won. Jesus. Oh. Actually, invading the Japanese mainland is super easy. Wait, we get. I'm not going to complain.
Uh, we'll be under our territory for now, too. Don't ask America what they want. Good job, Indo Indonesia. Oh, uh, country more forces on the eastern front, leaving all the dirty work to the comet sun. Hope Kaminsky won't let us down. Sure. Well. Good job, everybody. Now time to attack the Chinese Soviet Republic with no supply. Um, single railroad from there. All the way down there. Good luck. If we need more factories, we could probably use more guns. Good job, guys. You did great. Nice. Oh, 20, 40 days. Are we just finding somebody already? Oh, we are. Okay. Um. Cavalry expert, armed forces. I want you to become a Panzer leader, in all honesty. Panzer, 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 huh? Is he not a Panzer leader? Armor officer. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't know, huh? Get rid of you guys too and shove you over here. Second Vienna War. Recognize the new order has been established in Europe. We have been asked by Hungary and Romania to arbitrate a new territorial dispute between two countries. Transylvania is taken from Hungary and incorporated in Romania, and one of the many ill conceived changes forced upon the world. Have the Treaty of Versailles. <clears throat> Should Northern Transylvania be returned to Hungarian control? Friend Turkey? I took Turkey's Turkey's own admiral path towards modernization. The country controls access to the Black Sea through the Bosphorus and Dardanelles. Bringing Turkey into their sphere of militants should be our top priority. Nice. The 373rd Croatian Infantry Division is a tactical formation recruited from Croatian German volunteers, known as the nickname Tiger Division. In August of 43, she fought against the 5th Kransky Corps of the NLA, fought with the 4th and 8th Dalmatian Corps of the NLA in the valleys of the Unna, Sana, and Verdubus rivers, and also defended the Sava and Dinara rivers. Cool. We got a lot of divisions here. Due to Krayov, the Hungary's gain in northern Transylvania, Bulgaria has reminded us of the long standing boundary dispute with Romania over the southern Dobrugia, uh, seized by Romania in 43. Comments start receding. <clears throat> a series of raids on the known comments holdouts has uncovered little news about the extent of the German inf or communist infiltration. Extensive interrogation of the arrested comments revealed nothing we did not know before. It appears as if our intelligence service has a fairly good handle on the issue. We should mop up the few cells we know about. Yeah, might as well. They're weak. There should be. Cool. North Caucasus Legion. The North Caucasus Legion, a military unit of the German army during World War II, created from among North Caucasus immigrants, prisoners of war, and defectors. The formation of the Legion began in 1942 near Warsaw from Caucasian prisoners of war initially. The Legion consisted of three battalions commanded by Captain Gutmann. Okay. The Legion Ideal Earl was a division of the Wehrmacht, consisting of representatives of the Volga peoples, or organizationally, subordinated to the HQ of the command of the Eastern Legions. <coughs> the Volga Tartar Legion heirs were part of the seven reinforced field battalions, about 40,000 people. All right, then. Cool. Ten Kambuth, ten Kambuth. Oh, did we lose four more divisions? Yes, we did. That's fine with us. So, what are we going to send you? Probably... That's a good question. Italy, maybe? Maybe we'll kick him out in the end. We'll see. We might go to war with, them and with a lot of South American states in the next episode. If I t uh, Eastern Turkic SS Group. Eastern Turkic SS Group. It's our formation of the SS, consisting of the Turkic people professing Islam. The connections were rearmed and reformed several times. The maximum number of Muslim compound reached 8,500 people. Yemen, huh? Actually, Saudi Arabia. Why is it so long? Okay, so they're doing that then. Thank you, sirs. It is over there, too. Whatever. Fine with us. Riyadh. Riyadh. I want to form Oryx from Syria. 
All right, now let's go through all these first. The 369th Croatian Infantry Division. Uh, I think I read this one. Oh. Oh, that's weak. That's good. Read this again, please. Go ahead. Cool. Oh, you guys are just like this. Oh, no. Oh. You guys are thicker, actually. Probably should make you all thicker. Uh, occupied Norway. Then the Romania, Northern Front. Just fighting on the Saudis, which, uh, honestly, that takes too long. Not aggression pack, Sweden. Why does it take so long now to just find some people? Hmm. Neo theorist. Speed? We'll go with speed. Why not? 40 days is not bad, though. Infrastructure? Might as well. Yeah, next up will probably be the last one in this campaign. Just so that we can, uh... Take out America, probably. They're hungry. No one really cares, though. Plan Z. Ubot effort. I'll do that. Ubot effort. Uh, or this one, crossing the Atlantic. Where's the following? Modular construction. I'll get there eventually. These are Ubot effort. Commodore Dunitz uh, advocates a strategy of unrestricted warfare. Submarine warfare is the best way of bringing a bird to its knees. With enough U-boats, we might be able to start the British Home Islands and industries of all the acquired resources from his far flung empire. I wonder if that could work or not. Hmm. No. Mm, we're good. The 392nd Croatian Infantry Division. <clears throat> oh my goodness, no. No. Uh, it's a Wehrmacht Division a unit, or military unit, recruited from the Croatian Volunteers. Known as the Blue Division, are related to the Spanish Division of the same name. For in the fall of 1943, the training ground in Austria from German officers, sub-officers, military specialists, and Croatian recruits introduced into the Wehrmacht armies on January 1st, 1944. Ranked among the 15th Mountain Corps, to 2nd Tank Army, conducted military operations against the 4th and 11th Corps of the NLA. During the Lichko Primorsky, uh, Primorsky operation, the 4th Yugoslav Army was completely destroyed, and the division commander, Johan Miki, Mikkel, was killed on April 10th, 1945, near Krivenka, at the hands of the soldiers of the 19th Dalmatian Division of the NLA. Hey, that's not bad. Lady hey, Manchester of American Holdings, you heard about that? Please, go ahead. Are they actually going to go to war with us? Hey, they might. That won't be the end of the world, though. Hardness. Um, keep focusing on a lot of this stuff here, too. Hanshar. Ooh, a lot of lag. The division recruited from Bosnian Muslim volunteers in 43 was the most numerous of the SS divisions in number 20, over 21,000 in its ranks. The word Hanshar is known as a Turkish word in turn, going back to Arabic and denoting a special short sword, which was a historical national symbol of the Muslim Bosnia. The division was used in operation against Yugoslav partisans and for the capture and extermination of Jews, gypsies, and Serbs in the independent state of Croatia in 44. By 44, most of the division's soldiers and officers had defected to the Yugoslav partisans. Since December 1944, in the battles in Hungary against the Red Army, it has been almost defeated in 1945 in May. The remnants of the division retreated to southern Austria, Austria surrendering to the British troops. Very cool. I feel like we don't need any fighters here again. I think we'll be okay without them here. Um, Dalima, Ben, Supply Consumption, you can do that one, because you can. Naval Experience. Eh, do some Interception, because you can. Oh, I'm going to order them. Great. Good. Oh, 10 days, that's nice. You guys go in. Oh, we're going to struggle here, aren't we? We're going to struggle here a lot. Well, in some areas, there's a crap ton of divisions. How many divisions do they have? It's a god awful amount. No fuel, no convoys, stockpile wise. They've got not very much though. We do have a lot of defensive core territory though. About five percent so far. Attack and core territory. 
Not bad. Where are y'all at right now? Who else are we not at war with? Trans United Front. Lots of torpedoes, nice. Trans United Front. Um, I don't want to send tanks down there. That's a really bad idea. There's those guys over there. Ireland? I don't know. Uh, the first Cossack Division, the Russian collaboration formation of the Wehrmacht, was created on August 4th, 1943, in the base of the Panvitz Cavalry Detachment. On November 4th, 1944, it was transferred from the Wehrmacht to the SS troops. In February of 45, was support of the 15th Cossack Corps of the SS. For the dawn of the fatherland. Trade interdiction. Our Deckard's committed to churning out the U-boats, but we need to develop better ways of utilizing these wolf packs. Give the admirals everything they need to conduct their simulations and war games. More horse boys. Hey, yeah, that's not bad. You can boys. Not bad. Struggling here mightily, so I'll be it. Not more cass. Way, 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 way more cass. Two thousand, we lost seventy thousand, which is quite a few. We call double from what we lost, so how much damage can we actually do? Not enough. It's never enough. Get on. Can't force it. For now, at least. Oh. Send a bunch of guys there. Ukrainian Liberation Army? Oh, wow. Ukrainian nationalist organizations fought to create a Ukrainian army to participate in the struggle against the USSR from the very beginning of the German Soviet War, already in 41. The spontaneous formations of various Ukrainian volunteer units under the leadership of the Wehrmacht began during the years of 1941-42. There was discussion on the SDO with the German authorities, however. Hitler was distrustful of the idea of actively involving Eastern volunteers in the armed struggle, believing that sooner or later they would turn against their weapons against the Germans. Despite its negative attitude towards the beginning of 1943, various German authorities in Ukraine formed about 50 different units staffed by Ukrainians. From individual platoons, companies, battalions, and regiments, in total, 40,000 soldiers served in the ranks, were engaged in security service and the fight against Soviet partisans. The UOA included former Ukrainian Kyivs, Soldiers of the Eastern Legions, Soviet prisoners of war and volunteers simultaneously with the UOA, the Russian Liberation Army appeared. It was not about creating some kind of army of an independent Ukrainian power, but only about Ukrainian formations in the German armed forces. But, with the step, the Ukrainian volunteers in the German army finally received official status. Despite his permission to create the UVV, Hitler continued to treat it with distrust, as well as the Eastern troops in general. To a certain extent, this distrust of his was justified in August 1943, when the Russian SS Brigade, the Rezina, switched to the Soviet side. Therefore, on September 29, 1943, it was ordered to transfer all the Eastern troops to the Western Front, where they were carried out carry out security services. However, only separately existing battalions were transferred, and many Ukrainian units formed with German divisions remain in Ukraine. Continuing combat service at the front. We're free Ukraine. Doesn't help us at all, but whatever. They're still not weak enough, huh? Godless communists. It is costly to do this, but my god, we have to do it. We have to. Good. If you take the capital, that'd be great, but you know what? They should be out of guns by now. And which they should be, actually already are. Come on, where's the airbase? Where's the airbase? Come on. Air Force nice. Oh, they're attacking us too, huh?
rat bombers. Here. Just doing crap tons of damage. An insane amount of damage. That's still not enough. Well, it's kind of ridiculous how many divisions they have. I mean, yeah, they should have like no guns, but tons of divisions. Just tons of manpower. 34 divisions. They're completely out of everything. Maybe except for motorized, but that's it. Literally just fighting with bodies at this point. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous how much damage we had to do, right? No? Not bad. Go and do that one too. Happy 44, everybody. Pants Shreks, Strategic Bombers. Oh, we should get some better fighters too. Nice. There you go. I got him. Thank you for playing. You are ours. Well, that's about it, a little better than this. You guys go over here. Do that. You guys go on top like a hat. Like that. There you go. Couldn't mean, huh? And 60. Well, 25 is better. Modular construction. Five parts of our subs built at various construction facilities. Some of the construction speeds are greatly improved. Holy crap, 22. It's a lot. I love it. Alright. Not sure when we can actually finish that one off, but whatever. Um, let's see. The division was formed by the Wehrmacht High Command in May of 1943 on the territory of the general government, the southeastern part of pre-war Poland. From Turkic-speaking citizens of the USSR, prisoners and defectors from the Red Army, Azerbaijanis and Turkestanis, Uzbeks, Kazakhs, and Turkmen's and Urgas, all officers and the majority of the non-commissioned officers in the division from Germans. German citizens. Okay. The 14th SS Galicia Division, a tactical unit of the SS troops. From the autumn of 1943 to the spring of 1944, the units that joined the division in mid-1944 participated in punitive operations in southeastern Poland and the district of Galicia. In July 1944, <clears throat> the division was fully involved in the battles near Brody with advancing Soviet troops, during which it was surrounded and almost completely destroyed. Part of the military desert and joined the UPA. The division was sent for a reorganization where the personnel were replenished with the reserve regiment and recruits in August of, into Og October 1944. The division participated in the successful suppression of the Slovak Nash or Slovak, a national uprising in July or January of 1945, the division was sent to fight the Yugoslav partisans. In March, it was transferred to the, fight, to the former territory of Austria, where it participated in defensive battles with the Red Army, losing about 1,600 people killed and wounded. In April, 19, uh, April 19th, 45, the division was formally withdrawn from the troops as SS under the 1st Ukrainian Division. It's part of the Ukrainian National Army that existed on paper, subordinate to the Ukrainian National Committee. A political body created with the support of the Nazi authorities, given the impending defeat of Germany at the end of the war, this was no longer had any practical significance. In May, early May, most of the division soldiers surrendered to the Anglo-American troops, unlike members of the other collaborations formations from Soviet citizens, such as the ROA. The servicemen of Galicia managed to avoid extradition to the Soviet authorities. Meine era heist true. Cool. The Waff, uh, Waffen. The, the division was formed in early 43 as its twin division, the 19th SS Volunteer Infantry Division, and 2nd Latvia, and from the Latvian SS Legion. The division fought since 43 on the northern sectors of the Eastern Front and retreated to Germany in the spring of 1945. Divisions of Reconnaissance Battalion defended the government district in Berlin from the advance of Red Army until units in 1945, April, while the bulk of the division's servicemen surrendered to American troops in Schwerin. Mein Herr has through. 20th of Waffen Grenadier Division to SS. Formed in uh, February of 43, the initiative to create an Estonian National SS unit and its detailed formation belongs to the head of the Estonian self government, M. M. H. May. Who spoke on August 26, 1942, with the call to create an Estonian SS Legion? A few days later, Estonian Commissar General Karl Sigmund Nitzmann announced the order of A. Hitler on the formation of the Estonian SS Volunteer Legion, created as part of the German SS troops subordinate to the Reichsführer of the SS G. Uh, G. Himmler. In 45, the division fought its way out of three of the encirclement and retreated to the territory of Czechoslovakia, where it remained until the complete defeat of the German troops. On May 11, 1945, near the town of Melnik, not far from Prague, the bulk of the personnel was captured by the units of the Red Army. However, some of the Estonian soldiers and officers retreated to the west and surrendered to the Anglo-American troops. Cool. Are they all to combat with? Nice. Good luck. 
Wait, what? Ah, okay. Whatever. Get ready for them. And we'll probably do play all this off screen as well, both see. Oh, no more command power. Well, that's stupid. Oh, I don't like it at all. I just say I want to make more X commissary outs. Let's see. Oh, we're going to the Greater German Reich. Oh, there you go. Greater German Reich. Germania's here, too. Cool. Execute Case Anton. We might have to go with him, too. Kill him off. Some Kyong is killing itself. It's fine, too. Magic construction crossing the Atlantic. With the vanquishing of all continents of opposition to our rule. Uh, we must see to uh, refocusing our production efforts on the creation of a huge navy so that we may bring the fight to the British and the Americans. We should not rest until, in God's good time, the old world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the subjugation and humiliation of the new. Oh, wow. Very nice. This is 44 days, so we want more planes. We definitely, 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 definitely need more planes. Uh, Rex Um, at this point. What are we doing here? Compliance is not too bad. Uh, can we integrate anywhere else? Frankenreich? Poland? No. Uh, let's do... Not Muscovine yet. I don't trust them over there. Niederlande. And Belgium, no Frankreich. Unity... What? Through democracy? Oh, that's a mistake, isn't it? Uh, what? Uh, yeah, no, I think we're okay with you not doing that. Groa. Well, alright then. That might have been a mistake. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, probably done doing that. I think it makes these guys a little thicker too. Ooh. But SS divisions and all, all the guys, but we're okay for now. 27? Why not? Plain pinks are nice. Ah. The Montenegrin Volunteer Corps was a Montenegrin collaborationist armed formation of, formed in the June to July 1944. Modeled on the Serbian Volunteer Corps, which was formerly a part, included three regiments. The Montenegrin uh, Volunteer Corps, as part of the German troops, fought during Operation Draufinger. Of Draufgänger and took part in Operation Rubzizal. Out of the failure of the Operation Rubzizal, numerous changes took place in the formation of the Montenegrin Chetniks. In November 16th, 1944, the Southeastern Command included Montenegrin Chetniks and his forces. God's with us. Mountain Infantry Division of the SS troops formed from Albanian volunteers. Of course, this division was a battalion of Albanian collaborators who fought against Yugoslav partisans in Eastern Europe or Eastern Bosnia as part of the 13th SS Mountain Infantry Division. In addition to Muslim Albanians, Yugoslav Volksdeutsch, who had the post of junior senior officers, served in the division. The 21st Division was named after the Albanian national hero Skanderberg, who for more than 20 years successfully repelled the attacks of the Ottoman Empire on the Albanian principality in the uh, 15th century. Cool. In combo with? 16 combo with? Not bad. I hate they would use so much uh, stuff for that. Um, it's not bad. Cruiser subs. I never use cruiser subs. Cruiser hull. I'll probably do this stuff off the screen and start making some stuff. Get ready to invade America. Ah, in February 1944, the brigade was organized in the 19th SS Volunteer Infantry Division. Most of the soldiers and officers took up the regimental commanders who were Latvians. She took part in the op military operations on the territory of the Tosk region and all five battles in the territory of Kurlin. Out of the surrender, the soldiers mostly surrendered to Soviet capacity. Or captivity, I should really say. He formed his Middle Africa, maybe. If possible. Not yet. Crap. Well, that's quite alright. Let's see. Anything else? Naval Air Force? The efficacy of airstrikes against naval targets was demonstrated by the Americans already back in 21. We should not neglect this branch of the Air Force we tend to wage war on naval power. Very true. All long range escorts. Our tactical and strategic bombers require long range escorts to provide protection all the way to the target area and back. Rocketry. Rocket propulsion holds the key to massive innovations in all three of the military branches. Wunderwaffe. Heisenberg and von Braun are chomping at the bit to explore certain ideas they have true for, for two doomsday weapons. All they need is a few extra resources. Very true. I'm not sure when we can get rid of this. Strength of the Parsons. Uh, let's see. The division was formed on April 21st, 1944. From Hungarian volunteers, in fact, from conscripted Hungarian Germans and so, the so called Volksdeutsch, named after Empress Maria Theresa of the Habsburg dynasty. The division was defeated by Soviet troops during the capture of Budapest in, in February of 1945. The remnants of the division, which did not fall into the circle, were used in the formation of the 37th SS Volunteer Cavalry Division at Lubots. Cool. 
But the infantry division of the SS troops, formed from Croatian and Bosnian Muslims, the positions of commanders in the division were occupied by ethnic Germans. The name of the division, Kama, was taken in honor of the name of the traditional Balkan Muslim dagger with a curved blade, which was worn by shepherds. The core of the division was former servicemen of the 13th SS Volunteer Mountain Infantry Division, Hanshar. Cool. But I think. Oh, Delvanga. Ooh, we gotta wait for that one. We gotta do that one, definitely. Why don't we not destroy them? Should I just destroy them automatically? Because this is kind of dumb. They should not still be giving us so much issues, right? No? Am I wrong? I don't know. More breakthrough? Ah, why not? Because we can. There you go. Is that really another one? Okay. Uh, 43. There you go. Do that too. Stuff too. That'd be very nice. Ooh. Not bad. Hey, not too bad either. There you go. The SS putative unit under the command of Oscar Delvango was completed from prisoners of uh, German prisons. Concentration camps and SS military prisons at the end of the war, of course. The 36th Volunteer uh, Infantry Division was, was created on the basis of a brigade and several infantry units. It can only be called division conditionally since it did not form and become one in 1944 on the basis of this brigade is supposed to form, two se form a separate division. 36 according to the st uh, standard through numbering, but its formation was never completed since by 45 almost all the personnel of the brigade died in battle. Ooh. Get rid of you, scum. Ah, Delvanga. Well, welcome aboard, Delvanga. But I think we'll end it there. I'm going to do a lot of this off screen to start asking more people. And then in that next episode, we'll take out America and her allies and stuff like that. And, you know, call it a campaign. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll have another and more of a good time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.